What's up my YouTube friends? How y'all doing? I hope y'all all having a blessed day. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in y'all. If you are new here, my name is Momo and I love to do nails. Anything that's nail related, I like to do. So those are the type of videos you like to watch. Well, guess what honey? You are in the right channel. So do me that favor and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it onto all so that you can get notified for those videos that you like to watch and become my YouTube friend. I would really, really would love to have you as my YouTube friend. So with that being said y'all let's get right into this video all right y'all as y'all can see that i already started to prep my nails and in today's video i am using a cuticle ball bit to prep my nails well to prep around the cuticle area so basically with the ball bit y'all i am pushing back my eponychium and lifting away or trying to lift away any cuticle that might be stuck on the natural nail place okay y'all and what you see me doing here um, with this nail, I'll be doing the same thing to the rest of the nails with the cuticle ball bit. So yeah, y'all, when I say that, when I said that in today's video, I am using this cuticle ball bit to prep my nails. That's because when it, it when it comes to me, y'all, I am unpredictable uh, when it comes to using any type of um, tools. To do my nails okay y'all because one video you might see like in this video you might see me using this ball bit and the next video you might you you might see me use a different type of cuticle bit and in another video you might see a different type and a different type and etc 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 okay y'all so so um i don't have um what you call that like an ex like a routine where i keep using the same bits and um over and over again like my go-to bits that i use every day and all the time no i do not do that i do not have that yet i i would love to have a you know a routine set down i mean set up where i can have like my go-to um bits and then use that all the time and stuff like that but since y'all i'm telling y'all since i got so so much different types of drill bits that um that's why you see me using different ones all the time because i'd be like let me use this one this time to see how this one feels. Let me use this one now to see how this one works. Or then let me use this one now to see how this one is. You get what I'm trying to say? So, yeah. So, yeah, y'all. Yeah. I just want to say, like, please bear with me, y'all. Like, if if you, you know, always, like, watching my videos and, and you're learning something from my video or maybe learned something from my video that was maybe, you know, helpful to you, but I keep changing or switching up on the videos that I post of different things that's because y'all like I say I got so much things that um tools and stuff like that that I would love to, that I'm trying and want to see what worked best for me and stuff like that like I don't want to confuse y'all neither like what like different tools that I use you know you just work and use try to work and use different things that works best for you because that's what i'm doing i'm just trying to see what i can find what what's worked best for me all right y'all so now i'm going to use these uh extra extra long square no c curve nail tips from the attitude shops basically all i'm doing is picking out my sizes so i can adhere them with the nail glue and then we're going to go on to the next step again in today's video i'm going to use Natalie carmona primer and dehydrator first i'm going to apply the dehydrator and then i'm going to apply my tips after i apply my tips y'all then i'm going to blend in the tips um to my nail beds uh and then i'll go in with the primer afterwards all right y'all now i'm blending the nail tips to my natural nail beds Please be, if you do this, y'all, just please be careful when you're doing this. Make sure you got that drill bit right on the nail tip and not on your nail bed. I mean, you could get on top of your nail bed just a little bit, but make sure you're not putting, you know, no pressure at all on your nail bed because you you is not trying to take away anything from your natural nail beds, if that makes sense. If anything, you're just trying to blend down the nail tips as much as you can to the natural nail plate just so it could be a nice seamless look right there so when you apply um the acrylic 
you won't see a line going across or you know or a harsh line going across when you apply your acrylic because sometimes especially if you go in with light colors or with nude you'll see that line like peeking through if that makes sense all right so this is all the stuff right here that i'm going to use on today's nail set and yeah so now we're gonna go in and start doing this nail set <laughs> i am using the sparkly white from Glitz and such and suchery and, and suchery and accessories and then I'm using glam nude from Vanessa nails then I'm using this glitter right here is a beautiful beautiful glitter y'all that I got for profile backstage it's not acrylic it's just pure glitter and some iridescent mylar flakes I did take out that fine gold glitter that you see also right on the table but I won't be using that gold glitter. I will be using the other um, gold glitter from Profile Backstage. Okay, so right here I'm just going to apply sparkly white right uh, where the nail tip and the natural nail meets first. Because that's what I like to do to cover that, you know, that part up so you won't see that harsh line peeking through where I glued the nail tip at. And yeah, and then work my way from there, y'all. So I'm just going to blend in the acrylic onto the nails. And yeah, and that's about it. So basically, what I'm doing with this glitter acrylic, I'm just painting a real thin layer onto the whole nails. Because like I said, uh, well, like what I like to do is go afterwards with clear acrylics and build up my nails like that afterwards. Okay, y'all? Because the glitter acrylics and or any like dark colors or light colored acrylics, any colored acrylics, you would like to, well, I prefer just to do thin layers of it. Basically like painting the acrylic onto the nail like a gel polish type, you know, look or, or you know, like the way you would do like if you were to apply gel polish. I would do that with the uh, any colored acrylic or glitter acrylic, okay? So, um, like that, you won't waste your product. And, you know, you can always build it up with clear acrylic afterwards, okay? Because the clear acrylic is way stronger than any colored acrylic that you might use or glitter acrylic that you might or we might use, you know? So, you're going to need some type of clear onto the nails okay like i think we gonna you gonna i think that we do need to at least encapsulate the nails with some type of clear no matter what if it's covered acrylics um nude acrylics because the clear acrylic is the strongest acrylic in there that that that's what's going to give your nail that strength okay no, my bad. <laughs> I feel like burping. That's why. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. But anyway, um, now you see that I'm going in with some iridescent mylar, mylar flakes onto this middle ring nail. I'm, I mean middle ring. How you hear me? Onto the ring nail, y'all. So I'm just going to place, you know, all around on top of that sparkly white glitter acrylic from Glitz and Such. Yeah, just what I should have done, y'all, was when um when I played when I played when I placed the glitter acrylic, the white um glitter acrylic, I should have um placed encapsulated with a thin layer of clear acrylic and then went in with the mylar flakes on top of the clear acrylic just so it could give it that dimension look, but. Um, yeah, my mind, yeah, it, <laughs> yeah, in that moment, I didn't think about it, I thought about it afterwards, so, yeah, so, all I did was place a little bit of mylar flakes around on the top of all, you know, on top of that white glitter, as you can see here, what I did, <laughs> I don't know why I'm explaining it, <laughs> and you know what, y'all, to be honest, that I, I didn't want to post this video because um, I hate the when the picture gets in and out of blurriness. I hate that, and I'm I'm never in place like in frame 
of the picture like I'm a little you know too much to the left of the picture and I hate and I hate that shit I move my hands so much that it's getting me dizzy you get what I'm trying to say so yeah and yeah so I was like you know what I don't even want to post this but you know I said you know what let me just post and just get it out the way but yeah y'all please bear with me until I figure all this stuff out and try to keep my hands straight nice and still in one spot so like that you know it won't get y'all dizzy like it gets me dizzy when I'm moving my hand too that much all right y'all so now I'm just going to grab a little bit of clear acrylic and I'm going to place it like right there around the cuticle area or the apex area so I can place some of that gold um, mix, glitter mix from Profile Backstage onto the pinky nail. What I really, really wanted to do was do that, um, just place it like right there on top or around the cuticle area and the apex area only and make it look like it's fading down, you know, a little bit. But, um, yeah, you see, like, I want it to look like that, you know, I wanted it to leave it, to leave it like that. But, yeah, next thing you know, I ended up putting, you know, ended up uh, filling up the whole nail with that um, gold um, glitter mix from Profile Backstage. <laughs> so, what y'all think? Should, um, let me know what y'all think. Should I have left it like that? Like just around or you know or in the around the cuticle in the apex area just that little bit fading down like I like you see me doing in the first place or the way I'm doing it now adding it to the whole nail which I think All right, y'all. So from here on forward, it's pretty much um, self-explanatory, y'all. So I'm just going to let y'all finish up watching uh, me finish up doing the acrylic application and all that good stuff. So sit back and relax and listen to some music while you watch me do my nails. And if I need to come back in to explain anything, I will come back in. Okay, y'all. So with that being said, um, thank you so much for tuning in. So if you have not did so yet, hit that subscribe button for me. Please do so. I would really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart if you did so or if you do so. And if you did, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit that like button and a comment down below what you think because I would love to know your thoughts, y'all.
two hours later. <laughs> Yo, y'all, I take long as hell doing my nails. Thank God for this speed up <laughs> because we would have been here for ever watching this nail set but anyway y'all now i'm going in with clear acrylic to encapsulate all the nails you know because i got some glitter going on and some mylars that you need to encapsulate because you cannot file on top of that you know so and not only that y'all to also build up the nails and give it that strength and all that good stuff all right y'all so this is what i'm going to be doing now onto all the nails but i'm only going to show y'all uh, me encapsulating only my thumb nail y'all okay because or not we're going to be here forever all right encapsulating my nails this video is already too too long and i had to cut like you know me encapsulating my nails to at least bring it down this much all right y'all so um anyway is the same way the same what you see me doing here to this thumbnail that's the same exact way i'm gonna do my all my other nails all right y'all and yeah, y'all, so I can also leave the fouling portion in the video. Also, for some reason, I don't know, I like to leave the fouling portion in the video also. So, yeah, for those that to, that like watching the fouling portion, where well, there you go, is in here for y'all too. Okay, so a little bit for everybody, you know, that uh, acrylic application, the fouling process, is a little bit of everything for everyone that, that like to watch. So if you don't like watching that part or this part, whatever, you can always skip it to the next part of the video that you like to watch. All right, y'all. So, um, yeah. So keep on watching and let me know what you think. <laughs> You're sick of my madness Don't you tell me what I supposed to do You're better off without me Don't you tell me what I supposed to do When I'm walking on the streets half naked It's part of me, it's part of me When I'm making my brain make up It's part of me, it's part of me When you're crushing all my dreams and you're making me so fool Get out of my life I know what I I know what I'm supposed to do when you're crushing all my dreams and you're making me so fool I know what I I know what I'm supposed to do You know what y'all, I forgot To cut this nail down, I cut all of them down except this one I know what I'm supposed to do supposed to do all right y'all so now i'm going to use my e-file to file my nails but first i decided to go in and use my sanding band if i'm not mistaken i think this is the medium grit or the fine grit sanding band and i'm using this to file my thumb nail so uh, i'm just using it to see how it works out just using the sanding band to see you know how the nail is going to look while i'm you know while i'm filing it and all that good stuff because if i need to switch it up and you know to another bit then i'm gonna do that which i do end up doing i'm telling y'all y'all that i'm unpredictable when it comes to using my drill bits so right here i um 
when I was doing filing this nail, I decided to switch it up to see um, how the other drill bill, drill bill, the drill bit will work with the other nail. Cause I was, um, I was like, you know what? When I do my other nail, my other finger or my other nail, however you want to call it, I said I'm gonna do it with a cuticle bit. It's like a cone shape bit. It is a carbide. Okay, it's not a carbide bit. It's a ceramic bit, and it's a cone, skinny shape one. So I'm going to use that one to go around the cuticle area after I'm done with my thumbnail, just to see how that works out when I'm doing that. Okay, and then if I like the way it's working out, then I'll continue doing the rest of the nail with that cone bit going around the, the cuticle area like I'm doing right now. You see, I switched up to this bit. Now I'm going around the cuticle area with this bit. So, um, and I was like, oh, okay, I like the way it's going. I like the way it's sealing it. So I'm going to do it to the rest of the nails. So instead of going back to the sanding band to finish up filing up the nails like I did to the thumb, I switched up to a carbide bit, to a medium carbide, or to a medium safety carbide bit, okay, y'all? Um, to finish filing the nails, to debulk the nails, and, you know, some of the nails I had to debulk, and, you know, try to get it nice and even, and all that good stuff. And then, after I used the carbide bit, then I went back with the sanding band um, to finish up filing the nails to make it look nice and even and all that good stuff. Y'all, you do not have to do these steps that I do. These are all preference, okay? It's all up to you. You do not have to do this at all. The, the steps that I'm taking, you do not have to do the same thing. You can use, you can just use your car by bit. And you do not have to go in with a sanding band afterwards if you don't have to. I like to do it because I feel as though that after the carbide bit, um, the sanding band leaves it nice and fresh and clean look. Like it gives it like that nice file um, look. You know how when, um, I don't know if you do it, but you know, some of the ladies, they have filed the nails with the hand file on on top and around the nails with the hand file and it looks all nice and filed and crisp and shaped you know and clean and straight and all that good stuff you, you get what i'm trying to say right so that's why I, instead of me using the hand file that's why i like to go in with the sanding band because yeah y'all for me using the hand file my wrist already like feeling fucked up <laughs> so i'm not going to be there with the hand file yeah so i'd rather do it with the sanding band see and yeah for some reason when i go in with the sanding band it gives it like that nice clean finish look if you get what i'm trying to say okay y'all like i said this is all preference you don't have to do this i just like to do it because i like the way the nail looks afterwards
so this is how it's looking like all nice and clean and foul y'all i am so sorry this is all i got for y'all i did not i do not got the part of me decorating my nails i am so sorry y'all but i will show y'all a picture of how the nails came out decorated okay so if please don't forget y'all to hit that subscribe button like and comment for me i would really appreciate it let me know what you think about this nail set i would love to know your thoughts and don't you ever forget that you are blessed by the best so stay blessed be safe this world's going crazy out here y'all and please come back again love y'all bye and don't forget to subscribe bye